In a brand new interview with Brazil's Inside with Paulo Baron, Judas Priest singer Rob Halford was asked why the band's founding guitarist KK Downing decided to exit the group a decade ago. He responded. Well, uh, I'm not going to talk too much about this subject because it's what we call a hot topic. But yeah. I think KK spoke for himself. You know, KK, KK wanted to retire and he wanted to do other things. And uh, again, I can only reinforce that, you know, that we... Uh, give him our best and give him great wishes and good luck with everything that he's doing now. And uh, that's that's it for me, because uh, I know what it's like when there are these things that happen in bands, whether it's yeah. Priest, whether it's Iron Maiden, whether it's Motley Crue, whether it's Van Halen, whether it's Kiss, all bands have gone through these kinds of changes for various reasons. And uh, they're very deep. You know, they're very deep emotionally. They're very deep. So um, that's it. That's as much okay. as I'm going to say. Downing, who left Priest in 2011 amid claims of band conflict, shoddy management and declining quality of performance was replaced by Richie Faulkner nearly three decades as junior. Last year, Downing announced the formation of KK's Priest, in which he is joined by fellow former Priest members Les Binks and Tim Ripper Owens. The band, which pays homage to Downing's past, is rounded out by guitarist A.J. Mills and bassist Tony Newton. In 2019, Halford didn't rule out Downing's reunion with Priest, saying what will happen will happen. But bassist Ian Hill has said that there are no plans for Priest to invite Downing to return to the band. Richie took over from Ken, Hill told Riff Magazine. He's done an absolutely tremendous job, he really has. And he's made Ken's parts his own now. He's got his own angle on the lead breaks. Ken's part's been taken. And there's no plans to have Ken back really. Hey, listen, never say never. But at the moment, we're going along quite well, without Ken. So it could stay like that, I think, at least for the foreseeable future. In 2018, Downing dismissed as a load of Bollocks Hill's explanation for why KK wasn't invited to rejoin the band. After fellow guitarist Glenn Tipton's Parkinson's diagnosis was made public. We were like brothers we went to infant school together, and secondary school together. And we lived our career together Downing said. But I'm not totally happy about what's being said. Ian seems to be saying things like, None of the fans are missing KK and Richie has brought a new energy to the band. And I'm going. Ian dude, on that last tour I was the energy. I slowed down because people weren't keeping up with me. So I'm thinking, Ian, get a grip with yourself mate. You've just replaced the energy with some energy. Fine, well, great. But that's not moving forward Ian. Three years ago, Downing revealed that he sent a resignation letters to his bandmates when he decided to quit Judas Priest. The first was described as a graceful exit note, implying a smooth retirement from music, while the second was angrier, laying out all of his frustrations with specific parties. Downing later said that he believed the second letter was a key reason he wasn't invited to rejoin Priest after Tipton's decision to retire from touring. Thank you for tuning in, and please hit that like button, it's appreciated. Make sure that you subscribe for more rock-related content.